Well, you ever hear that song, It Never Rains in Southern California? It pours? Well, that's what's going to be happening here as we get into the latter half of this week, and that's the focus of the feed here today. I think there's going to be flooding in Southern California with the rain that we're going to see. And, and I learned this years ago from one of the AccuWeather icons, Dr. Joe Sobel. He always told me, listen, it's hard to get the jet stream far enough south to get rain in California, but when it happens, it almost always overachieves the rainfall because of the topography. I'll show you why here in a second. Want to show you, let's not bury the lead, let's get right into it. Listen, there's going to be some rain Thursday night into Friday, but the time frame where I'm afraid we're going to be looking at heavy rain is going to be Friday night in the Saturday. What are we worried about flash flooding? I think that is a given. In California, I also believe because of the terrain and the mountains and the recent fires that have burned in the last year, there's going to be some debris flows and problems on, in the burn scar areas. Now, here's the dirty truth, unfortunately, in California. Short-term pain with these rain events and flooding, almost every time it rains heavily in Southern California, you're going to get flooding and you're going to have problems near the burn scar areas with fires. But the good news is this is the way you keep drought away from Southern California. In fact, it, of course, all of California, while there's pockets of drought in California right now, all of the reservoirs, and I mean all of them, especially the two big ones, which are the, um, Mount, uh, the Shasta Reservoir and also Orville Reservoir, are loaded to capacity from the rain and snow that we've seen over the last couple of days. Now, let me show you the ingredients for what is coming in the California. I'm very impressed looking at the satellite here. Look what's going on. You've got the upper low here, right? You've got a band of Pacific moisture here, but look what's going on here. Look at all of that tropical moisture coming in from the Eastern Pacific. I have it labeled here. I'm going to zoom on out a little bit here just to show you Right, how far south this moisture train goes. It, I wouldn't say here's the Hawaiian Islands, but you can trace this moisture pretty far south, uh, south of Hawaii. So this is a true uh, surge of tropical moisture coming northward. So it is loaded to bear right now. So you've got the moisture and you have what I call the dynamics with the upper low right here. Okay, so... I'm going to show you the modeling here as we uh, as we go forward, and I want to show you what we're looking at here. So this is this evening, and what we're looking at here, here's your upper low. You have the American model. This is European. This is the American model. I want to take you to Friday morning. Look what's going on here. The dip in the jet stream splits, as I mentioned. So let's go back into here. You've got uh, Thursday evening, you've got one elongated area of moisture, right? Look at all the reds. That's showing you you have a lot of energy. By Friday morning, you see what's going on here? Let me go forward right here. You've got a piece here. This will go across Northern California. So this is what's going to give Central and Northern California your rainfall. It's going to be a soaking rain, no doubt about it. You're going to get probably about one to three inches of rain throughout the entire area. But you see what's going on? This upper low kind of breaks off. You see that? Let me play it forward, and I'll start. Let me go back to Wednesday evening, and we'll play it through, and you can see it. See how that goes? South Friday morning, then watch happen Saturday morning. Stop Saturday morning. You see what goes on? You have this upper low now off the Southern California coast. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So this is what it looks like, Southern California coast Saturday morning. You've got that upper low, and you've got this perfect flow. Look at this, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. You see the upper low? Where's it coming into? Right across Los Angeles and Ventura County. So what you're doing is you're taking all that tropical moisture and you're ramming it northward into California. And don't forget, in California, Southern California, you're going to be helped by the terrain the mountains. But look at all of this energy coming in. Let me go back to the big map here. You can see it. Look at all of this right in here. Look at that coming in the Southern California Saturday, Saturday night. Now, I want to show you the topography of the West. Let's zoom in the California. Look, look at these, and then I'll give you your bearings here. This is Ventura County, Los Angeles County, Orange County, San Diego County. Note the mountain ranges in here, the Santa Monica Mountains, the San Gabriel Mountains, the San Bernardino Mountains, and they all have one thing in common when you look at them. They face to the west-southwest. 
So think what's going on. You've got all of this moisture coming in from the Pacific and it's tropical moisture and it's called what we call an upslope flow, right? An upslope flow where you bring the Pacific moisture in, you have a lot of energy to begin with and then it's forced to rise so it could the air cools, it condenses, you've got more upward motion and that is going to cause extensive amounts of heavy rain, I'm afraid. Now, I want to show you the rainfall map here. Uh, again, these models are what you can use on Yaki with the Pro site here. This is the total amount of rainfall here. I'm going to go to Monday morning just to be on the safe side, make sure we capture it all. Let me show you what this looks like. Look at this rainfall projected here. This is uh, Los Angeles County. Uh, this is Los Angeles County, Orange County, San Diego County. I mean, you're, you're looking conservatively at two to four inches of rain across San Diego and the Southern and uh, the, the Los Angeles Basin, two to four inches of rain. Now, for you that live in the Northeast, that doesn't sound like much, but take a look at this. This is the rainfall we see in California uh, during the year. They average about 12 and a half inches of rain during the winter months, October, November, December, in the, into March, about 12 and a half. You may get four to five inches of rain just with this storm from Thursday night through Sunday. And if you think about it, that covers all of the average rainfall for October, November, December, and it's about 30 to 40% of the entire rainfall during the winter. Good news, it keeps the drought at bay. The bad news, I'm telling you, flooding is on the way, and that's the feed.